So let's now test the default response. But again, before I test, let me explain this one more time so that you understand. Here, if the similarity is is uh, is 90% or more, then the, the response will be sent from one of these responses or the responses that the chatbot has from the library. If the similarity is less than 90%, then we will send the default response. Let me now save and let me open up the terminal and train the chatbot here. It has been trained because I have um, started the server one more time. Uh, let me head on over to the browser and send something that doesn't exist in our data. Some text that is very, that's not human readable. So for example, this. This is obviously something that doesn't exist. It's not a word. It's not a, a phrase. It, it's just a, a few characters. If I send, guess what? If I send, I'm going to get the default a default response. So here, the default response is sorry. I don't. Ha I don't know what you. Uh, I don't know what that means because this this response this question has obviously a similarity of less than ninety percent. It doesn't exist. It doesn't even exist. So the similarity doesn't exist. Here, for example, if I say name, if I say name only name, name and then question mark and send. If I say name and question mark the chatbot is going to say i am a chatbot so the question mark the 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 chatbot is very smart that it will be able to determine uh the the uh the or, or it will be able to predict the the best possible answer to to the question that the user sent because here i just sent name and here the similarity i think the similarity is is considered 90% or more because name already exists in our array. So you need to know this, this is very important.